Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So today's video, I'm going to show you how you'd be able to remap your Bixby button. So just the other day, I asked you guys a poll question, which was, do you use your Bixby button? And out of the 1400 answers, uh, this is the top answer right here, which is yes, but rarely. 17% of you said yes every day. 26% said no, I disabled it. And then 14% said, no, I didn't even set it up. Now, my hope is that with this video today, we're going to get a lot more of you answering this one right up over here, which is yes, every day, because in this way, maybe you don't want it to open up your Bixby home, but you are able to maybe open it into your Google assistant. You can make it open up an application that you use on a daily basis, or even turn on your flashlight. As somebody wrote in the comments below, they use it to turn on their flashlight as they enter their house. So I'm going to show you my favorite application that I use when I'm remapping my button. Button. So then this way you would be able to open up something else and hopefully answer the question of yes every day. Now, what I want to make sure that you guys already know with this one is that in the settings on the very top, if you have this one right here turned off, if you're using the remapping application I'm about to show you, you want to make sure that this is turned on. Now, the nice thing about it is that if you don't want your Bixby home to be a little home screen, you can still turn it off. So then this way you're not going over into your Bixby home, but this button is actually still opening up the Bixby home application for you. So as you can see, this one is still turned on. It's up to you if you wanted to have your voice turned on or not, you know, by doing the press and the hold. So either you can also have this one turned off if you want as well but at least hopefully you'll keep it on to do some of the stuff that Bixby is able to do. Now, the application that I wanted to show you guys is this one called BX Actions. Now, if you go over into the Play Store and you just type in the word Bixby, once you type that in, it's probably gonna be one of the very first ones you see there. It's highly rated at the 4.3 stars. And once you have this thing downloaded and you open it up, that's how you're able to remap it. So here's all the different steps. It's pretty nice, it's very intuitive. Um, it actually shows you exactly what to do. So you can see here that you wanna turn on and get the foreground application turned on, which it goes through all the different steps and tells you how you can do it. And then you also wanna turn on the second one, which right here, this is showing you how you're able to enable that permissions. So just watch these quick little videos here and it shows you exactly what to do. So it said to scroll down, head over into the services. This is where you can turn on that Bixby button. Now, the one that I didn't turn on was the one of the volume buttons, but I'm not using the volume to do anything with shortcuts because I use volume so much in the day for media and sound that I don't want to use those as shortcuts. Now, once both of these have been done, they've been turned on and you basically watch those small little tutorials, now it takes you into the application. This very top section here is how you can either stop it or start it. So if at any point in time you wanna turn this off, just tap right here and you're able to stop the application. You can also play around with the buttons. You can check out the help and the pro. So you can actually purchase this, I believe for $2.99 and you're able to do just a little bit more. But this for me is what is perfect um, on a day-to-day -day basis for myself. But this is where you go over into actions. And then right here, you can see where the actions for the buttons is Bixby, as I mentioned from before. Um, I am not remapping the volume up or volume down, but this is where I'm gonna go inside of here for Bixby. And this is where I'm gonna have the standard action. Now, if you do pay for it, you're able to have something else for the lock screen, but more than likely, the standard edition is perfectly fine. So you can have it set up for either your Google Assistant, you can have it for Google Now, you can open it up for a task manager, the power menu, the settings tray. Uh, you also have this like media player pause. So if you listen to a lot of music and you just wanna pause it, you hit one button, here's the next. So you have all those different ones for sound and such like that. Um, you don't need to have it for camera. You can already double tap the power button to open up the camera extremely fast. Uh, you can also, maybe if you wanted to, use it for home and back, but I wouldn't suggest that. This is where you can completely disable it and enable it. But honestly, with this one, more than likely you'll use it to launch a application. And then this is where you're able to choose which application is going to launch. Now for me, I use my Amazon Alexa all the time when I'm at home, mostly when I am turning on or off either music or if I'm doing any of my lights. Now, if you're interested in the lighting setup that I have in my house, I do have a smart home basically. Uh, and I'm using these Sengled smart lamps and the lights. So if you wanna use the same stuff I use, go in the description below the video. There is gonna be a link. There's two different links. One of them for a floodlight, which is what I use all the time. And I also have the other pack, which is a normal standard light. Uh, but again, if you guys are interested for what I use, click the link below in that side of the description. And it's gonna be called Sengled lights. Now they're both um, starter kits. So it's a way that you'd be able to have the hub along with two other lights. 
lights. So now what's gonna happen is instead of me going over inside of here and clicking on like my tools and going into Amazon Alexa, now all I have to do now is because I already have my, my Bixby button remount or remapped, I hit my Bixby button and it's gonna pop up my Amazon right away. And then I can say, turn on YouTube studio. And then it just turned on a light that's actually right above me over there. Uh, and if I wanted to, I can say turn on basement or turn on bat cave, um, play some music, anything else. So Amazon is something that I use all the time for Alexa and the echo dot and everything else. And so I'm actually gonna turn this light off again. Turn off YouTube studio. And then now the little light that was above is now turned off. So I use that way more than anything else. But the great thing about it is that even though I remapped the button, um, I'm still able to press and hold and I'm still able to give it to, you know, any type of commands or anything else I would want it to, to do for me just by still using the press and hold function of Bixby. Now, hopefully with this video and the remapping, I hope that this will help you guys out. Make sure I just give this thing a huge thumbs up. Hopefully it'll make you use your Bixby button just a little bit more so we can get more of those answers into the yes every day so it'll put some more functionality into that button for you to make your life a little bit easier for you every single day outside of that make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side share this video with your friends and family and social media sites on so this way if they have a samsung galaxy device from either 2017 or 2018 with that bixby button and also the upcoming tablets and everything else that's going to be having this bixby button there you're able to remap it and use it for your everyday use and outside of that i'll see you guys later